Hey there, it's Gabe again with Vitev. And uh, there are a couple of questions that we get all the time here, and we have since we started working with our systems that can create alkaline water naturally. Um, because for the most part, those of us that encounter this water and, and are kind of struck by it, uh, come about it because somebody that we know, a friend, family member, maybe a neighbor, chiropractor that we see, whatever, introduces us to the water. And typically it's always introduced through a system that uses electricity. Right? There's a cord that plugs into the wall, um, and that system then creates the acid stream on one side, the alkaline stream on the other, and it's the first time we've run across it, so we think that's the only way this can be done. And as I'm about to show you here, it's, it's not true. And then, So when you do your research and you find our system in it, it's so much different than the electric systems, it just begs the question of how do you guys do it? How does your system work? I could explain it, I could put it on a website textually, but uh, I think it's better to see a video and actually watch the process happen uh, that you can't always see uh, because the filter's encased in a, in a container, right? Um, so all we're doing is basically going back to the natural process, just the water cycle. Let's take this bottled water, okay? Nearly all bottled waters, unless they have a pH uh, kind of marketing message on the front, is going to be acidic. And, and this is no different. In fact, rainwater is the same way. Because it's picking up you know, toxins from the atmosphere, it's pulling carbon dioxide, which is an acidic waste product and for our bodies and for the atmosphere as well. And so you get fairly acidic water. See, you're looking at about a, what, a five, five and a half. You've probably seen this before. No big surprise. So what we do then is this rainwater falls to the ground and it runs through different layers of soil and sediment and rocks and minerals, right? And each one of those layers imparts a little bit of itself onto the water. The water picks up some of the minerals. The water utilizes some of those chemical reactions that take place with things like magnesium to get that ionization, that negative charge and the antioxidant properties. And all that stuff happens naturally. And that's all we do with our systems. We clean the water really well first and then we run it through a series of different minerals. And I'm going to show you kind of how this looks. This is one sample of minerals that I'm going to pour in here. This is much more subtle. And then this is, uh, this is just magnesium. And you're going to see how quickly this process takes place. Look at that. It's already purple. We've gone from 5.5 to base. Probably, this is probably a solid 9.5 just in a few seconds. Okay? It takes no time at all to do this. And that's why we can run our systems with a flow-through type of situation. Let's put this in a nice glass so you can see it. There you go, a nice purple water. And so the answer to the question is because it's not that hard. Um, we don't need a lot of uh, you know, big expensive platinum plates. We don't need electricity or LCDs or flashing lights or any of that kind of stuff, multi-language you know, displays as well. We don't, we don't need any of that. We can just go back to the basics and simplicity of filter the water first and then run it through the minerals and let the minerals do, its, do their thing. And you get a nice, healthy, balanced, clean water and healthy water as well. And that then also is the answer for the most popular question we get, and that's why are you guys so much more affordable than those other systems that I've seen. And this is it, because we use simple ingredients, solid construction, basic, you know, nothing fancy. And, and we don't believe drinking water has to be fancy. The other thing that we're able to utilize is that since all of this is made in the United States, all of our products come out of California. We don't pay large shipping fees to get them in on the boat from, from other countries. We don't have import duties and taxes. So we can keep it manufactured in the U.S. and that keeps our costs down low as well. So the, the basic answer to those two questions is because it's not that hard. Natural alkaline water is very simple to make. It's very easy to make. As long as you know which ingredients to use and you put them in the right order and make the right um, kind of ingredients or kind of sandwich in our filters, it works great. So I hope this helps. If you have further questions, by all means let us know. Hit us with a, a, an email, a phone call, a live chat. Uh, whatever works best for you, just let us know how we can help and, and we hope this clears up some of the uh, misconceptions that are out there. That alkaline water is pretty easy to make and should be affordable as well. Have a great day.